All right, welcome back to how to create hero concepts. Um, today we're going to be looking at multi -per at alternate abilities such as switching your primary. Your primary ability can switch due to an ability. That is what an alternate ability is. It's basically when you have an ability and you can use another ability to switch that ability up. For example, we have Bluebell. Roll is buffer, so it's a tank. Playstyle is soaker because it can heal itself. It can take multi a lot of damage at once. Description, pirate mech. It is a pirate mecha suit type deal and uh, its primary is cannon arm it has three cannons on its arm each do 100 damage with a fire rate of 1.5 and a cool a cooldown slash reload of three seconds one second per cannon um, passive is scurvy one time per critical so any so you have to get critical you can eat a tangerine that gives you 50 health um, a real world application here is because tangerines Pirates would usually eat them to cure seasickness and cure scurvy, which is caused by seasickness, so real life application there, but you can only do it when you're critical. But now let's get to the best part, alternative abilities. So your right arm is your primary arm. It's, it's what you use to fire cannons. Blade arm, right arm turns into a sword that deals 65 damage per swing, cooldown two seconds. So why is the cooldown that low? That's because instead of your cannon arm being your primary, now your now your blade arm is your primary. And it switches the blade arm with the cannon arm. So instead of using your cannon arm, you're using your blade arm and wielding a sword instead of a tri cannon. So you cannot use blade arm and cannon arm at the same time. You can only use one or the other as your primary. Same with torch arm. Right arm turns into a torch that lights enemies on fire. So instead of using a torch, no, instead of using a blade or a cannon, now you're using a torch that lights enemies on fire that get too close to your arm. Again, you can't use blade arm together, torch arm together, or cannon arm together. None of these three can be used together. It's all the right arm. You're turning your right arm into something else besides a cannon. Blade arm turns into a sword, torch arm to a torch, blunder arm turns it into a blunderbuss. A blunderbuss is like a simple rifle uh, from the pirate, it's like a pirate weapon. It's like a pirate version of like a hunting rifle. It basically shoots one shot, then you reload it. So the blunder arm turns your right arm from a cannon or a blade or a torch into a blunderbuss that deals 50 damage per second with knockback effect. And each of these is two seconds, besides the torch arm, which is 10 seconds because it um, has an extra bit damage buff by lighting people on fire, which gives them a burn effect. So of course, blade arm, torch arm, blunder arm turns your primary arm, which is a cannon, a three-pronged cannon, into something else, either a sword, a torch, or a blunderbuss. So that is an example of an alternate ability. It turns your primary into something else, but it's still your primary. It just makes it a different attack. Instead of a cannon arm, which is a explosive attack because it's a cannon shooting explosive rounds, it can turn into a melee attack with a sword, Another melee, a burning attack, a poison attack with a fire, a torch, or it can turn it into a manual attack with the blunderbuss. Now, starfish. Left shoulder throws a starfish that sticks to walls and explodes nearby enemies. Now, you can use the starfish with any of their primaries. If you're using a blade or a torch or a blunderbuss or a cannon, you can use the star, starfish along with it. You can dual wield that. Same with rope swing. Left shoulder launches a rope that hooks onto structures and swings the mech forward and back. Now I should note, you can't use starfish and rope swing at the same time. You can use starfish, then use rope swing, but you can't use them both at the same time. However, you can use cannon arm with starfish, cannon arm with rope swing, blade arm with starfish, blade arm with rope swing, and so on and so forth. It all depends on what arm is what. And finally, ultimate swashblocker Swashbucklers spawns five mini mech pirates that have swords and deal 45 damage per swing. So basically spawning five mini versions of yourself with blade arm as their primary. All right, so let's get to the horizontal stack block and then we'll talk about his story later on. So we have our cannon arm, which has a three round mag. Well, of course we have Bluebell. Bluebell is his name. He's a pirate mech as we described. Uh, his he is a tank, so he's the buffer. His play style is Soaker because he can heal himself. His primary is Cannon Arm, as we described, a three-pronged cannon. It shoots explosive rounds, so it is a splash with the red highlight. 
passive is Scurvy, which heals him plus 50 when critical, so it is a self-heal. And then we have all the arms. Blade arm, it turns his arm to a sword. Torch arm, turns his arm into a torch. And blunder arm, turns his arm into a blunderbuss. Again, you start with cannon arm, you turn it to blade arm, and you make it a melee attack. So your primary is now a melee attack. Switch it to torch. Now it is a poison attack because it is using either fire or poison. It's using fire in this circumstance. And then you have blunder arm. Blunder Arm is a manual attack because it's using projectiles. So you have four different options for your primary. You can alternate between the between three alternative options for your primary, but you can only use one at a time. Now Starfish launches a starfish that explodes when enemies come near it. That is a trap. It sticks to a wall and only explodes if an enemy comes near it. So that is a trap. And then we have Rope Swing. Launches a rope swing, a rope that attaches and allows you to swing forward or backward. So that is a step. That is an ability, a mobility ability that only helps you. So that is, that gives it the gray sign for ability. Remember our color coding. Red is splash. Yellow is self heal. Pink is trap. Orange is manual. Uses projectiles. Purple is melee. Po um, green is poison and gray is ability. And of course, finally we have the ultimate, which is Swashbuckler, spawns five mini mech pirates, which are powered, which these are AI NPCs. So they get the uh, denotion for um, NPC automatic, uh, automatic attack. And then your health is 500. And that will, that will end our stat block. Now uh, let's go back to the slides and go over the story as a review mode before the end of the video. So, Bluebell's story. Plundering village in the ports in the Caribbean, his ship was swallowed whole by a whale. In the belly, he was able to build himself a mech body that he used to escape and kill the whale, making a city on the whale's body called Port Plunder. So he turned a whale into a his own city. Pretty dang cool. Alright, so, review as always. Primary ability is cannon arm. These three abilities change your primary into a different attack. Blade arm sword attack, torch arm torch attack that lights enemies on fire. Blunder arm turns into a manual attack with a projectile blunderbuss that fires projectiles once per second. All three of these change your primary attack. So no longer do you have a cannon arm, you have a blade arm. No longer do you have a cannon arm, you have a torch arm. No longer cannon arm, you have a blunder arm. And you can switch between these two. You can turn your blade arm into a torch arm. You can turn your torch arm back to a cannon arm. You can turn your blade arm back to a blunder arm. All four of these abilities change your primary. You can't use them all at once, but you can switch between them if you want to. Alright, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like if you like, dislike if you don't, subscribe if you like it, and I'll see you guys next time. Toodaloo!